Hey everybody, welcome to CampingGearTV.com. I'm Ben. I'm Josh. And here we are, as promised, yep. episode two. Josh's camping thingy stuff bin. Right. We're going to take a look at everything else that he's got in the bottom of this bad boy. Yep. And I forget who ended last time, but I'm just going to go ahead and grab I something. I think you ended it. last time. Would so you like to? Right, I would. I, I, wouldn't, I don't want to rob you of a turn. It is my turn. Then please take it, sir. All right. Uh, I got uh, charcoal lighter fluid in the bin. Um, you know, last time we talked about a lot of the food accessories that I keep in here. Um, this can also be used for food, but I wouldn't really pour all the food. I put it on the fire mm. before you start the fire. Right. And some people might think it's cheating to put lighter fluid on a fire. I don't care. If you're Whatever right. gets the fire going. Right. <laughs> yeah. You know? And I sometimes I'll bring my Weber with me and get a little charcoal fire going as well. And it's also helpful to have this for starting a charcoal fire. Right. One other item in here while I'm talking about starting fires is a uh, Sherlock fire starter stick. So again, you know, some people might make fun of me for having fire starter sticks. I've never even seen these. Yeah, I don't know. Those are pretty old. But any fire starter stick that you have, I don't think it hurts to have them. Um, you know, if you're out there and it's, you know, the ground's all wet and your wood's all wet and whatnot, these things can really come through for you. Really? So you just light this and just... It will burn for a long time. Really? Yeah, so... Interesting. Just, it's good. I would rather have a fire starter with me just in case than run into a situation where I can't have a fire. Oh yeah, definitely. Because if I was on a campground and couldn't have a fire, I would choke a bitch. Right. Yeah. Your turn. Okay. Item. What's up? Oh, yes. Folding shovel. You know, a mainstay of any camping setup. Um, whatever, it's a folding shovel. That's some real G.I. Joe yes. stuff there. Yeah. So, Use that digging for ditches for doo doo holes? You gotta dig doo doo holes, yeah, and uh, you know, all other things that you have to dig. Burying dead bodies. Yeah, burying dead bodies. You run into a deliverance type of situation. Right. What else we got? We got we got this, which is a uh, cordless fan. It runs on batteries. Let me take it out of the bag here. Now that bag is quality. This is a quality bag. Oh. So this little dad, actually it's a light too. You can see the light maybe on the camera. I don't know. Um, but uh, whatever, it runs on batteries and it's a little portable fan. Oh, kind of provides a nice gentle breeze for those hot sweltering nights. Holds up nicely and for some reason I have it in a Ziploc bag. Yeah, well, let's, are we gonna talk about the bag? The bag is real nice. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, it's got a hole in the side of it. It's got a hole in it. It's very dirty. Right, it's not clean. Dirt, dirty is the opposite of clean. That bag's been in use for at least 10 years. Right, a testament to Ziploc's brand is uh, right. they make uh, quality products. Yeah. Okay, let's see here, what else we got? We're getting down far enough where it could be dangerous uh -oh. I got some of these items. But All right. We'll go with well, this one. This is just a dry bag that I have, and it feels like maybe there's something in it. Hopefully a bag of money. I am going to admit I'm not the best at going through and cleaning stuff after I do some camping. I have some beef jerky All right. in this dry bag. Um, looks like it's been opened, but there's some left in it. So that's all that's in here, but um, I don't know. I pretty much take a dry bag on every camping trip I go on. It's pretty sweet. Um, should we get into the, the heart of the matter here? Yes, let's All right. Well, here we have an old ammo box that I inherited from my dad. And let's see what's in it. I honestly don't Hopefully remember. Ammo? We got a, a knife. Pretty sweet, huh? Looks like an OJ knife there. It is an OJ knife. Um, there's a, uh, a, a sharpening stone or two in there for the knife. That's good. Yeah, I mean, what you need a need a nice knife on a camping trip. I got some bug spray in here. I got some, uh, you know, old uh, mantles for a. Uh, Fuel lantern, pretty sweet, and never will really use. I can't tell you <laughs> use those all the time. And camp suds. <laughs> so it's uh, 
you know, camp suds is for uh, cleaning your hands, face, hair, and clothing, dishes, and anything washable. Camp sud. I got some silverware in here. I got a compass. It's a compass. It's pretty sweet. There's another little compass in here. More silverware. That's about it. I need to put this to better use, actually. So that's it. But you know, if you don't have an ammo box in your Rubbermaid thingy that you keep all your camping stuff in, then you're missing out big time. I don't know. That was, that was a little bit of a letdown, I thought. The ammo box? Yeah. I just think it's something better. Yeah, actually, there. I kind of think that if you have an ammo box in there, you might be an idiot. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. I got a trash bag in here and a bag from uh, Schnooks. That's definitely important. So, we got a trash bag with you so you don't litter. More sunscreen. More sunscreen. Episode one. Yeah, we talked about that. More bug spray. More bug spray. Even more bug spray. Can't have enough. 40% DEET. It's not so good anymore. It's kind of old stuff. I'm gonna, grab, I'm gonna grab a two for one or here. Go for it. We got some toys. Toys. You know, yeah, football and the frisbee. You know, playing 500 or yeah. some sort of game like that. It's nice to have a toy. A hammer, a key. And I'm assuming that a hammer goes with these next items. Yeah. Steaks. Steaks. A couple of random steaks. You're not going to pound them in with your fists. Nope. Hammer. I got a bar of soap. And the uh, last thing in here. Hey, let me see the hammer. Look at this. Oh. E equals MC hammer. E equals MC ham. I didn't get that. I wasn't even paying attention. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, and then this is Dermatone. Right, right now, everyone who's watching the episode click close on their window. Really? Yeah. Because of that? Right. Oh. I thought it was funny. Mm. Dermatone lip and face protection. So that's pretty much everything I've got. In dirt. Bed. Empty. There's dirt in there. But I'm pretty proud of it. I think I got a nice little assortment there. You know, it takes some time to kind of, you know, get get a bunch of gear and stuff. So that's you know that that's my like little home away from home right there for when I go camping. Plus the tub. No, oh, this too. But I put this back in the car. Mm, okay. Just Can like my wife. I don't have a wife. If I did, she'd stay in the car. Camping Gear TV. Check us out. Bye.